You've probably heard of both DNA and genealogy, but you may not have heard how the two sciences can be brought together to solve major crimes, including murder, through what is known as genetic genealogy. The use of genetic genealogy thus far has helped solve dozens of cold-cased homicides. For centuries, investigators have searched for clues at crime scenes. Typically, the clue would be something someone left behind, like a fingerprint on the windowsill. Since every person has a unique set of fingerprints, the fingerprint lifted from the crime scene is then compared to known fingerprints in a database. The database is made up of fingerprints taken every time someone is arrested. As DNA science has evolved, we now know every individual also possesses a unique genetic code. This unique code, or DNA, can be found within our body and our bodily fluids. Crime scene analysts are now able to collect DNA left behind when a person touches an object. In 2004, Proposition 69 expanded the collection of the DNA of persons arrested for many felonies. Similar to fingerprints, the CODIS database stores DNA profiles from arrestees, missing persons, and forensic samples collected from crime scenes for comparison. But sometimes the DNA profile recovered from these sources fails to match any profile in the CODIS database. And this is where genealogy comes in, genetic genealogy to be specific. So what is genetic genealogy? Most of us are familiar with the idea of researching our family tree. In fact, more and more people are using commercial databases to develop their own family tree. Commercial companies such as 23andMe or Ancestry.com enable people to research their ancestry by combining conventional genealogy and DNA. These companies use databases to compare known DNA profiles to develop a person's ancestry. These companies maintain the confidentiality of the DNA profiles submitted to them and do not support law enforcement investigations. GEDmatch, however, is an open data genetic research database. People who submit their DNA to other companies can elect to have their DNA also provided to GEDmatch for purposes of research and for use by law enforcement. Genetic genealogy is then used to solve crimes. Companies like Parabon Nanolabs combine the sciences of forensic DNA and genealogy to use genetic genealogy to solve crimes with evidence from an unknown DNA sample. From the unknown sample, they create a genetic profile and search GEDmatch and other public DNA databases for similar profiles that would indicate relatives. Then they use that information to develop a family tree for the suspect. This can lead investigators to identify an individual in the family tree who may be the source of the crime scene DNA or the unknown DNA profile. Then investigators can use traditional forensics to confirm the suspect's identity. This method proved successful in solving 28 murders and rapes in 2018 alone. This technology also helps law enforcement to identify remains in order to return victims to their families. It is important to understand that GEDmatch is a different database than the common commercial databases such as 23andMe or Ancestry.com which are not available to law enforcement without a court order. If you have developed your profile through 23andMe or Ancestry.com and you would like to assist law enforcement in their mission of solving cold cases, please upload your DNA to GEDmatch. To further demonstrate the value of this technology, next week our office will be hosting a press conference announcing how the use of genetic genealogy through Parabon Nanolabs has solved two previously unsolved cold case homicides which occurred in El Dorado County during the 1970s.